Jason, a 10-year-old boy, sits in his room, reflecting on his parents' divorce and the upcoming move. He resents his father for forcing them to leave their comfortable home and the friends he has made. Jason's dad said we had to move because the rent for this house keeps going up. He couldn't afford it anymore. Whether he like it or not, he have to accept this reality. It's so hard leaving this house. He have so many memories with mom here. Jason curiously enters a room near the kitchen. It's filled with paintings, creating an otherworldly atmosphere. It's like a gallery of paintings. Portraits of different people, all Indonesians, wearing traditional clothing. Jason walks among the paintings, observing the intricate details and expressions on the subjects' faces. He feels a connection to their stories. Suddenly, a faint whistle echoes through the room. Jason freezes, his eyes darting around in search of the source. Who's there? He scans the room, feeling a sense of unease. The paintings seem to watch him, their eyes following his every move. I heard a whistle. Was it the paintings? No, it couldn't be. I must be imagining things. Jason reluctantly leaves the room, but his curiosity lingers. Jason lies in bed, restless. Moonlight streams through the window, casting shadows on the walls. He tosses and turns, unable to sleep. The first night in our new home, he couldn't sleep. He turned on the TV, trying to distract himself. The film plays on the TV, providing glimpses of laughter and comedy. As exhaustion takes over, Jason falls into a deep sleep. The TV screen illuminates the room. Jason's bed shakes violently, waking him up abruptly. He sits up, alarmed, and scans the room for any signs of disturbance. What's happening? He looks under the bed, but nothing is there. Concerned, he decides to go to his father's room for safety. To reach his father's room, Jason must pass the room with the whispering paintings. Hesitant but determined, he stops and Jason rushes into his father's room, panting and scared. He looks around, hoping to find his father, but the room is empty. His eyes catch a glimpse of a note on the pillow. He picks it up and reads the message. Dad had some urgent matters. He'll be back soon. The room's lights flicker ominously, and Jason's fear intensifies. He hurriedly closes the bedroom door and locks it, seeking refuge. Trembling, he climbs onto his father's bed and pulls the blanket over himself. Outside, the murmurs and footsteps of the strange crowd grow louder. Jason's heart pounds in his chest as he desperately tries to block out the unsettling sounds. He closes his eyes tightly, hoping it's all just a bad dream. Suddenly, there's a loud knock on the door. Jason freezes, fear coursing through his veins. He refuses to open the door until he hears his father's voice. Dad? Is that you? Jason? Are you inside, son? Confused, Jason opens the door, expecting to see his father. But to his horror, he finds a haunting scene before him. The strange people with unnaturally wide grins are staring at him, their eyes fixated. Jason screams in terror and slams the door shut, locking himself inside the room once again. Jason frantically searches for a way out, his heart pounding in his chest. He looks around for any sign of his father, but he's nowhere to be found. Panic and confusion overwhelm him. What is happening? Where is my dad? The room grows eerily silent. Jason clings to the hope that his father will return and rescue him from this nightmarish situation. He clutches the note tightly, finding solace in his father's words. Jason huddles in the corner of the room, praying for safety, as the haunting sounds and echoes of the strange crowd persist outside. The camera zooms in on Jason's terrified face, capturing the intensity of his emotions.